Okay, let me take you on a Hong by Starlight trip. You probably saw it on YouTube, maybe you read about it in Lonely Planet or one of the, another one of the guidebooks, something like this, but whatever, you book the trip. Uh, the first thing you notice about it is we don't leave at dawn. We go in the afternoon, so we pick you up about 11 or 12 o'clock from your hotel. We've got customized van transfers. The van's going to be there at the right time, so you should be there five minutes before. You get in the van and we drive to Apo, which is on the northeast corner of, of Phuket Island. At Apo, we go to this old wooden fish shop. Why? Because that's where I first went from when I first explored Pongna Bay in January 1989. And the fish shop has stayed pretty much the same ever since. So we collect everybody at the fish shop, then we take the bus down the pier. We get on one of our large escort boats, take about 36 people on each boat, and we take you out to the bay. It's gonna be about an hour, so the first thing we do, we'll give you a light lunch. You notice it's a veggie lunch, it's very healthy food. That's because I used to be in cancer epidemiology, I know good food. We're gonna turn you on to some really good food. That's a simple lunch, it's tossed green salad, uh, uh, noodles, Chinese noodles, and uh, spring rolls. Then as soon as you finish that, the lead guy's gonna give you a briefing because we're really natural history by sea kayak. So he's gonna talk about the nature, but we're also gonna talk about the boats, how you get in and out of the boats how you're gonna go through the caves and into the lagoons. By the time that's done, we're at the islands. So you really didn't even notice that you're on the boat for an hour. As soon as you get, that, get out there, your guide has been appointed to you, so that's gonna be your friend for the day. You get into one of our Sotar kayaks, custom built in Grants Pass, Oregon by Sotar, the world's best, strongest, inflatable kayaks and your guide is going to take you two people with one guide through the rest of the day. You're going to go up into the caves, into the hidden lagoons, which are really a time machine. When we get in lagoons, you're going to find things like mud skippers, the first vertebrate to come out of the sea onto land. They, they breathe both water and air. They jump around a lot of the times. You're going to see hornbills, crab-eating macaques. It's all a big evolution trip. A lot of fun, very spectacular, very interesting experience, but also cerebral, because we really have a message that we want to get to, to you. That message is, we've got to protect Mother Earth. She's in peril right now. And we've got too many people, and we really have to learn to respect nature if we expect our children to see it. We go through the day, we're gonna take you into two or three, maybe four different caves. And then we come back, we'll have a swimming break. Uh, we have a self paddle break. You can try to paddle the kayaks. They're not that easy to paddle in a straight line because of these inflatables with flat bottoms that go all over the place like this, designed to turn in the caves. You can have your swimming break then we'll come back on board, and one of the highlights of the trip is a cultural experience called Loi Kratong. So your guide will actually show you how to make a Kratong that at nighttime you're going to float in the sea and it's got candles and incense and everything. Then we're going to have a dinner. The dinner is extremely healthy. It's almost vegan, but not quite. We've got Aeroponic vegetables, we've got net caught fish, net caught shrimp, nothing from the farms, that's poison stuff. Brown, red, and black rice, no white rice, we want to turn you on to really wholesome food, right? So they'll have this spectacular dinner. If you read our TripAdvisor reviews, they say it's the best meal of our entire vacation. And these are folks that are staying in four and five star hotels going out to the best restaurants. The food on, their, on our boat, they say, is the best meal of their entire vacation. 
Then when we finish our dinner, it's usually nighttime. What do we do? We're going to go back into the lagoon with your kwatong. You're going to light it up. You'll make your wish or your prayer, whatever it is you want to do. Then you're going to float the kwatong on the water, which is sparkling with the bioluminescent plankton called dinoflagellates. They're one of the earliest life forms. They haven't even decided whether they're plants or animals. So this is really an evolutionary trip. Unfortunately, nature isn't built around the catalogs that we make. So maybe you're going to see the Brahmini kites first and the dinoflagellates, the earliest life forms last. But it's a spectacular light show that is not only charming, dramatic, and it's also humbling because you realize, oh, we're going back a billion years with this life form. Then we're going to get back on the boat, and then you've got the trip back to the pier. It'll be after dark. You've got the beautiful stars. You've got your guide to talk to, uh, your friend for the day. Then we get you back to the fish shop. You get in your van, and you go back. You're usually back in your hotel about 10 o'clock.